Hello and welcome to the Venzone support video. Today we are going to talk about uh, elevator model uh, machine, which is just this one here. And uh, there are a lot of important things that uh, we need to cover and ensure that you know the operator is uh, fully aware uh, before operating this machine. So we're going to cover uh, four main areas. Uh, one is the overview of the uh, of what this machine is. Uh, some of the things that you need to do at the time of installation and uh, things that we should not be doing and also uh, the ongoing uh, things that uh, to keep in mind and the last one is if you decide to move this machine from your current location to somewhere else then what are the things that uh, you must do before the machine is moved so let's start with the overview um, like I said this is our uh, elevator range um, the if this machine is delivered by a professional transport company then they would probably uh, come in and plug in for you if it is not plugged in then you got to remove the plate at the back which uh, can be seen here and you gotta then plug it in um, the most important thing with the plug-in is that do not turn on the machine from inside even though it's plugged in and turned on from the uh, from the main from the wall it is not turned on from the machine uh, very important that the machine is turned on only after certain things and I'm gonna cover those things uh, in a second so you open the door by turning it like that and the machine opens up like that and uh, the first thing that we got to do is um, uh, the first thing that we got to do now is before we turn on the machine or anything like that is uh, make sure that we release the lift so at the moment the lift is locked it cannot be moved because the way this lift works is there are cables going across like that you can see through the pulley and there is an, another cable going across there and there is a lift uh, there is a weight that uh, goes up and down um, and that's how the lift goes up and down so and they and, and it exactly works as a conventional lift system in the buildings so the first thing we got to do is we got to remove the the pin which can be seen here I'm turning it Um, can it so just turning uh, it's a long pin keep turning keep turning and it comes off and it looks like that it's what they call a butterfly butterfly pin keep this very carefully I would keep it in the bag which is this bag the machine comes with this bag I would leave it inside so you don't need it again unless uh, until you make a decision to move this machine somewhere else you don't need to so now as you can see uh, that the lift is released once the lift is released what we got to do is we have to uh, like you can see again for transportation the trays are locked because of this bar so you just unscrew the bar there's two screws here you remove those two screws once you remove the screw, this bar comes off. Again, you don't need this bar, you can leave it. And once the bar has been removed, it uh, can be removed. And now it's okay to turn on the machine after this. So you just the switch is there. And the machine turns on. So the main components with this machine is the main door. Um, it's got a, a lockable uh, lid or lockable door, um, delivery window. Um, this is what we call a pull-out uh, 
website do, uh, do and uh, it has got all the components here which is the main board note reader credit card reader um, uh, the coin changer and uh, all the switches are in there okay so uh, this door can be locked as well as you can see there's a little switch on the top you press it and turn it and it can be locked like that so then this becomes secure see come on move um, and it can be unlocked that way so the most important part with this machine is obviously for each and every product that is dispensed the lift comes up and the product drops into the lift and then the lift delivers so the operation of the lift is absolutely critical it's important that the lift is operating smoothly and there is no you know obstruction to the lift and uh, it's, it's looking at its optimal level so how are we going to do that so let's talk about the installation part of the of the machine on the day of installation um, like we discussed you're going to remove the, uh, the, uh, the tray bar you're going to remove the bolt do not turn on do not turn on the power until those two things are removed then you can turn the machine on and the, the most important thing that needs to happen after that is uh, the leveling so as you can see this door is uh, opening and closing really really smoothly I don't without me having to push the door uh, and it's not going you know I don't have to push the door to put it on top of the you know the body the reason why that is happening so smoothly because the machine is fully level so um, what you got to check is um, the leveling uh, I would put this on the not on the door but on the body so we got to check three uh, leveling you know um, leveling from three different areas so front the left here so, so this needs to be moved a bit like that lift it up like that a bit from the back and on the right yeah same thing so the how you can do that is how you can do that is by taking a spanner like that and then just go into the knee and you can turn turn the wheel turn the uh, the nuts like that to lift up or go back to bring it down and then the nut on the top needs to be tightened up just to make sure that this um, leveling doesn't get uh, changed uh, accidentally later on so this is how you loosen it up and then that's how you tighten it tighten it up to lock this feet at this current position so this um, is the most um, critical I cannot stress enough how important and critical this exercise is every time the machine is installed somewhere it must be leveled and uh, the door must close really really smoothly it should not you should not have to force it uh, to close the door so uh, there's two ways to check uh, three ways to check the leveling one is uh, with this make sure that uh, you know all the sides three sides are level the door and the third one is the lift itself the lift must be uh, you can just lift up this lift and just check it that this is smooth and going up and down really really smoothly if it is too heavy or tight or if something is you know uh, obstructing the lift something is wrong so that needs to be addressed uh, at the time of installation it must be really really smooth
Um, the other thing is, every time you close the door, please have the habit of lifting the lift. Lift, if it is all the way down, like that, and then if you try to close this door, uh, you can see that these uh, legs are gonna hit the elevator. So always, always, always lift this up, bring it midway, and then close the door. Like that. Yeah. And then the lift will readjust itself, just like that. Um, so once these three things are done, which is um, check the leveling, check the door operation is smooth, and if the elevator is moving up and down smoothly, the next thing to do is fill up the machine with all your products in full. Once the machine is fully loaded and all the weight is uh, to its max, that's when we want to check those three things again. Check the leveling, check the, uh, the door operation, and then check the lift if it is going all smooth. If all this, uh, if it is, if there is any issue with the door not closing properly, or if it is uh, a bit too tight here, just when you're closing, you have to kind of push it to lift it up and put it down, put it in. Then something is wrong. You gotta adjust the the uh, the feet and uh, make sure that uh, the feet is uh, uh, adjusted so that the door is operating smoothly. Same check with the lift and also the uh, uh, the, lev the leveler. So these things I'm repeating again and again because it's absolutely critical for your machine to work smoothly. If this is not set up from day one, you will have issues and uh, those issues will be all, you know, funny intermittent type of issues uh, with no real way to sort of find the problem or fix it. So this is, this is how you can just prevent them from happening in the first place by spending half an hour, 15 minutes, whatever is, is needed when you set up the machine for the very first time because you can't do the leveling universally because the, the floor might be uneven or uh, level differently in different locations. So this exercise must happen every time the machine moves either to a new location or even within the same location if it is moved elsewhere. This exercise is absolutely critical. Okay, so let's talk about the product, you know, stocking uh, rules. Uh, with this machine, it's very important that nothing comes in the way of your elevator and that's where these rules are very very important so this is what we call is a pusher now this pusher normally in a conventional vending machine goes at the edge which is uh, show you it goes like that But in, a, in an elevator machine, this is not a good idea because when this, go, this is going up, it may interfere because this is protruding out, it may interfere with the elevator. So we never put it like that at the edge. What we do is we put it almost a midway, which is Back. in the middle not at the edge at the middle so going back up here this is wrong this is right this is right this is wrong so if you fix if you have to fix it take it out then you put it in the middle so that was with the pusher um, the other uh, uh, important thing with uh, the position, the spiral position, is that whatever products you put to put it, put put it, it should not be sticking out like that. So if you take this bottle and if I put it like that, see how this is sticking out. Now this is a problem because it means that this could be. Uh, hitting the elevator see you can see that it's hitting the elevator so this is not a good idea so how are we going to fix it we're going to change the position home position of the spiral and at the moment it's five o'clock we're going to make it six o'clock and then 
this way it sits inside see that's how we fix this problem um, in a similar way whatever product that you're using uh, just make sure that it sits inside uh, and at the same time the product must fall uh, within about half the turn so if the, if the spiral is turning by the time it reaches here we want the product to drop if it is falling all the way uh, when the spiral is about to finish its cycle then the, it means that it's it's dropping too late it could there could be a product jam or something like that that you could expect so, so these are the two things that you keep in mind one nothing should be protruding out and number two the product must fall within half the turn uh, of the uh, of the of the spiral um, so just uh, the way you can have your product um, merchandised in the machine is two ways one is the product sits on the floor which is how this bottle is sitting at the moment or if I put this another bottle this time straight and you can see that the product is sitting on the floor which means here not on anything else not on the spiral not not on anything else it's sitting on the floor this is one way of uh, merchandising your product in the machine and this is very important that the product is on the floor it should not be sitting on the spiral it should not be sitting on anything else it should be sitting on the floor however the exception to that rule is that it can sit on what we call a tray with a base bar which looks like that in this instance the product is not sitting on the floor but it is sitting on the something called a base bar a bar like that now number one rule with that is if the product is sitting on a base bar you must must have uh, what we call a horizontal bar which prevents the product when it's dropping it prevents the product from somersaulting like that this bar prevents uh, make sure that the product falls straight like that not like that so this bar is very important so we don't want to the best the easiest solution to dispense your product is to have it like that we would recommend that you use this method as opposed to that method except for the you know items that you must use this you use it but uh, it does get a little bit complicated because there are a lot of settings where you put this because this we don't want this to interfere with the um, with the elevator so this must be positioned correctly and the other thing to keep in mind is your positioning of the uh, the home position of the spiral now if you put it on a on a base bar like that with the horizontal bar it must be this must be sitting at 12 o'clock it cannot be sitting five six or any other way it must be sitting here at 12 or maybe sometimes even 11 if you want it to drop earlier quicker so so this is very 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 complicated area and unless you're not sure what you're doing i would not uh, modify the original settings that we've provided uh, you stick with them don't change don't try to change anything or if you want to change something give us a call first we can then tell you what how this can be done depending on what you're trying to dispense and uh, you can make the change however if you go with this configuration it's easy all you got to do is uh, just you know put this can and that's it if the, at the most if there is if it's protruding out you can change this position uh, and and that's about it so this is much simpler this is a uh, lot complicated and we recommend using that you know system uh, as far as the merchandising of the product goes uh, in relation to chips and chocolates again standard nothing same as your conventional machines uh, except that you make sure that the chocolates are not protruding out again and hitting the elevator so so that that was uh, uh, a brief rundown on um, on what are the things that to keep in mind uh, when you uh, do your product stocking the other thing is a lot of times uh, there will be 
uh, situations where you need to change the product. You want to you want to put um, uh, remove this glass bottle. By the way, you can win glass bottle in this machine. Um, if you remove this glass bottle and if you want to win uh, this glass bottle, for example, then uh, what we recommend you to do is, even though it looks like there's nothing much has changed, we recommend that you do a 50, <clears throat> what we call a 50 test. So you take this product, fill it up all the way in all the, wherever you want to uh, merchandise the product in whichever columns. So if you're going to, let's say, put this product in all these uh, columns here, you can fill it up all the way to, to its maximum capacity and then dispense one by one by one by one 50 times and make sure that it's dropping 100% uh, without any issues. And that test is absolutely critical for uh, so that you don't have any, uh, you know, call, calls uh, you know um, that, uh, that 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 creates you know issues uh, about uh, dispensing issues that are is in relation to the dispensing issues. So, so this is uh, very very important that you do the 50 test. Um, we normally uh, when we uh, introduce a new product into the machine, we do a hundred time test, which means we take a product and keep dispensing it about. Um, 100 times and make sure that it uh, it, it drops correctly uh, the other thing that uh, all the fillers and the operators uh, need to make sure is that the tray is pushed in all the way now for example I am filling this machine I filled it up and I, I put it like that but I forgot to push it in like that and I just left it there in a conventional machine there will be maybe there's no problem because it'll just the product just drops but in this one straight away you're gonna get a call because it's gonna stop okay. so make sure that you you have a standard operating procedure for all your fillers to triple check the trays uh, before closing the door make sure it's pushed in like that it took me like three five seconds to check that the trays are fully in so this must be done to prevent any issues uh, the lift height function we will uh, uh, we'll talk about that in case if you move the the tray from there to say let's say here or whatever then there is a setting in the in the board you got to go there so you press your service button and you go to the options menu Oops. and then hash and then keep going until you see uh, lift and then as you can see there is different settings for different trays so base is 240 which is which is a standard base and then lift one this is the distance between uh, the top bit of the uh, the flow one is from the ceiling till the where the um, tray finishes and then the next one Flow two is from the ceiling to the uh, ceiling of the tray one to the base. This part here of the tray two, whatever the measurement is, that that's the number you put in. So basically, if you make the changes, you gotta check all these settings, make sure that these settings are all uh, changed to match with your uh, configured trays, so that way the lift stops correctly at the right position. The total of all these numbers must always be one four three five always must be one four three five so if you are doing this setup and if your number is not adding up to one four three five one the lift will not work properly it will not stop at the correct position and secondly it will uh, it will it will 
never uh, um, uh, operate correctly unless and until the total of all of these is one for three by three. You must make sure that the total of these numbers always comes to one four three five. Uh, so, so that uh, covers up our installation part of the of this video. The next one is uh, just the ongoing things or some basic troubleshooting at uh, your filler or if you are filling the machine yourself then you can uh, check look for and keep an eye on are first one the spiral home position so every time the your filler goes to op, uh, fill this machine up what he needs to do is run his eye through that if you have set up this tray to be uh, for the spiral to be at five o'clock then it must be sitting at five 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 just have a quick look and same with this this is wrong see something is gone wrong so this must be fixed and tested and then do this across the whole machine and make sure that that is correct now this is very important again because if this has changed for whatever reason then the product will stick out you'll have a, uh, a jam and you'll have the machine out of order so so this this is one important uh, tip for your filler uh, to keep an eye on the home position of the spiral the other thing is sometimes if the machine is behaving uh, incorrectly or doing some some things that are you know uh, it's either out of order or whatever it will show up it will show here the error number but um, depending on what the error is there are three main switches that you we just want you to be aware of um, there's one switch which is just here which is uh, the, what we call the push door switch so when the door is open or closed the machine knows that the door is open or closed here so that's switch number one the other switch is this switch here which knows when the lift is all the way down or or not so that's the other switch and then there is another sensor which is just here uh, just over there where, which uh, also recognize where the lift uh, where the lift is so so these are the three switches that you just need to be aware of we don't want you to do anything with it just so you know that uh, if we tell you um, about these switches in the future uh, or we refer to the switches in the future you know what we're talking about so there's three the main one again on door uh, on the floor and uh, that one there so three um, other than that there is no difference between this machine and our conventional YZ machine. Uh, the only extra component in this machine is there is something called lift board. So in a normal machine, there is a main controller board. There is a uh, the uh, refrigeration board, and that's it. But in this machine, there is three: main controller board, refrigeration board, and what we call an elevator board or a lift board. So something for you guys to keep in mind. And like I mentioned in earlier on yeah so that's that's the area where the um, lift board sits behind this panel um, yep so so like I said before um, if you follow these rules um, that should give you a very you know good experience with this machine these are very very uh, reliable uh, machines we've had them in the field for many many years uh, our customers have had them in the field for many many years and uh, they work beautifully uh, it can be configured into snack it can be config configured into drink or it can be configured into a combo configuration it can dispense glass bottles it can dispense anything that is fragile um, so so they're very versatile machines uh, these are the things what I covered in this video are the are the key important points um, that uh, that uh, you would uh, keep in mind follow those points and you'll be fine the only last 
part that I wanted to cover with this was uh, if you decide to move this machine from this location to some other locations, there are three things that you must do. The machine must be fully empty. Uh, the weight, the lift weight or elevator weight. Do you see there is a hole there? Um, I just want to show the hole. Yep, and that must be matched up like that. And then basically the butterfly this butterfly uh, pin must go in there just like that on this side And then you turn it all the way in so what happens is that the lift becomes secure if this is not done this is very dangerous because all these cables can be pulled come off the pulleys and uh, it'll be a problem so this is important step uh, and while transportation the trays could come out and uh, damage your elevator or it could damage something else so it must be so my bad <laughs> this must go on first and then the uh, the pulley must go after that um, uh, but, but once this is done the machine is uh, uh, ready to be transported and uh, follow the same you know installation uh, instruction that I gave before when you install the machine into some other location so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I hope uh, you have a, a good uh, you know experience with these machines and thank you very much